Welcome to Outlaw Woodworking. Asphalt driveways you really never own because you constantly have to repair them. And if you live in high altitude like I do, I'm at 8,500 feet, you're, every year you're resurfacing this. And the previous people didn't maintain this driveway very good, so it's actually cracked up pretty bad. So what I've decided to do is tear this driveway out and put in a one of the world's best snow melt melting systems and since I have natural gas it'll be able to run really efficient let me show you how I do it the first thing I do is get my friend John his excavator and his dump truck he has a really nice dump truck and he's really good on the excavator so I'm going to have him tear this out, put it straight into the dump truck and haul it away. Once we get the driveway all tore out, we then trench over to the corner of the garage. And what this is going to be, we're going to run two two-inch two uh, PEX tubing to a manifold on the other side of this driveway. That way it'll get more flow out to all these lines. So we trench the, this line in and we're going to put two three-inch sleeves through here um, that the PEX tube can run under the driveway. We're going to use Schedule 40 PVC and basically that's going to be the sleeve for the system. Once the sleeves are in, we backfill we backfill this whole driveway and then I start compacting. And even you know even though this driveway has been in here it's I wanted to make sure that it was compacted really good, so I went over this whole driveway again with the compactor.
Once the compaction's done, it was time to lay down the insulation. And this is a half inch thick reflective coated insulation that's going to go on the whole bottom of the driveway. And that takes a little time. As the insulation goes down, right away you put the 6x6 six six wire on top. And this keeps it from getting blown away or anything. And there you can see the grid. Here's a little shot of the drone. And right there, there's the whole driveway is actually in. Looking pretty good. They're putting the last bit of wire on the bottom. There's another look at it from outer space. Next up is the tubing. And we're using three quarter inch PEX tubing. And a lot of it. You basically, the way this system works is it radiates six inches each side of the PEX tubing. So you basically put it in loops um, every 12 inches. So the spacing is 12 inches. And you basically, there's no joints in the driveway. It's, the rolls are 300 foot rolls and they weave them back and forth through the whole thing. They did a nice job. Here's another look at it going up the hill. They're about halfway so far. Next up, it was time to put the rebar in and we're putting the rebar 18 inches on center through this whole driveway. And here's the guys installing the rebar. They're doing a nice job also. Here's a look at it with most of the rebar completed. They're doing some final touches on the rebar today. And this will end part one of the world's best snow melt driveway. Snow melting system. There's a look at it. You can see all the pipes going into that side over there. That'll be where the manifold is. And it's looking really good. I must admit, I'm pretty happy with the quality of everything so far. Here's another look at it going up the hill with the rebar and everything installed. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this ep part one of the world's best snow melting system installation. And I look forward to showing you part two. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe, like the video, and I will see you next time. Later.